Hello everyone and welcome to the story time with Billy channel. Don't forget to subscribe for all the latest videos and content. It's time for fun with phonics. We are back today learning our phase five letters and sounds. Are you ready? Good, then let's do it. Let's have a look and see if you can remember some of the sounds we've been learning about so far. Here we go. What's this sound? I. A. Ow. Brilliant. Drum roll, please. Ooh. We've got a brand new sound to learn today. And it is... E. E? E? We've heard that sound before, haven't we? Where have we seen that sound before? Oh, the grapheme E-E. -E. And as we've talked about, some sounds can be represented by different graphemes, different letters. So in phase three, we learned that the E sounds can be represented by the letters E-E, -E, as in C. See what I can do. And today, we're going to learn about the sound E represented by the letters E-A. E, as in, I like to go to the seaside. Should we see if we can read some words that have the E-A grapheme in? Brilliant! Let's see if we can find some, shall we? Ta-da! I found four words that all have the E-A grapheme in. And E-A represents the sound... E! Great job. Shall we see if we can read these words with the E sound in? Brilliant! Let's do it. Remember, we're looking for a digraph. And the digraph is two letters that make one sound. What's the digraph we're looking for? E! Well done. What's the digraph? E! Let's put the sounds together in this word. E, C, C. I like to go for a swim in the sea. Great job. What's the digraph? E. Brilliant, everybody. Let's put these sounds together. R, E, D. Read. Read. At story time with Billy, I love to read. Brilliant. Great job, everyone. What's the digraph? E. The letters E, A, which represent the sound E. Great job. Let's put these sounds together and spell the word. M, E, T. Meat. Meat. My favourite meat to eat is ham. Mmm, tasty, tasty. We have one more word to read. What's the digraph? E! Well done. Let's put these sounds together. S, T, E, M. Steam. Steam. When a kettle is ready, steam comes out. Steam. Great reading, everybody. I'm going to point at these words in a random order now, and I want to see if you can read them in your head. Can you do it? I think you can. Let's give it a try. Which word is it going to be first? Look closely. Meat. What's your favourite meat to eat? Sea. Go for a swim in the sea. Steam. Steam is very hot. And what's the last word that we haven't read yet? Read. Well done, everybody. Wow, we've read so many words that have the E-A digraph that represent the sound E in. Let's go back to the red chair and see if we can make a sentence with some E words in. <laughs> We're back in the red chair, everybody, ready to create a sentence using words that have the E-A grapheme in that represents the sound E. Can you remember the rules when thinking of a sentence? We're going to think of it in our heads. We're going to say it out loud. And then we're going to write it. 
Think it, say it, write it. Now I've got a sentence that I made up earlier. I thought about it in my head. Hmm, I'm thinking of a sentence that has words that have the EA grapheme in and maybe some tricky words to challenge me as well. I've got it. Come and see the C with me. I can hear two words that have the E sound in. I wonder if you can spot what's different about them. Should we look at the sentence together? Aha, uh -huh. here we go. Let's read the sentence together. Remember, I've used green pen to show you the tricky words in the sentence and a red pen to show you a word that has the E-A grapheme in. Come and and s e c the s e c with with me. Brilliant. Come and see the C with me. Did you spot my two words that have the E sound in? C and C. Hang on a minute. Those words sound exactly the same, but only one has the E A grapheme in. I wonder why that is. Ah, of course. It's because they have different meanings. Two words that sound the same but are spelt differently and have different meanings are called homophones. So C with the E E grapheme in means to see something, to look and see. Whereas C with the E A grapheme in means the sea at the beach. Come and see the sea with me. Brilliant. I wonder if you can create a sentence using a word that has the E A grapheme in. You could use one of the words we read earlier, or maybe you've got a word in your head that you could use. Have a go and see if you can create a sentence using an EA word and some tricky words too for an extra challenge. Thank you for joining me today for Fun with Phonics. Woohoo! We'll be back soon for some more Phase 5 Letters and Sounds. Thanks everybody. See you soon. Bye!